This is the Sikkim Podcast, powered by Rogue Media Network. The Sikkim Podcast is a production of Baylor Athletics. Now, here are your hosts, Katie Smith and the voice of the Bears, John Morris. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Sikkim Podcast, powered by Rogue Media Network. Glad you're with us again this week. Happy February, Katie. Here we are moving into February. Got a lot of sports talking uh, going right now. We talked to Brittany Sneed Newman next week. Yeah. Softball starts uh, this week. Uh, we've got tennis going, of course, yeah. basketball going strong. How about track and field? Indoor track and field is going. It is so exciting. And who better to kick off the track and field season with us than one of my favorite people in the athletic department, uh, Stacey Smith. One of my favorites, <laughs> too. <laughs> is Welcome. she? Yes, Everyone could get exactly. on board with that. But she is our <laughs> associate head coach of track and field. So 21st season, but also, I mean, at Baylor since since her career and such a legend here, so everyone knows the name. Stacey Smith, but 21 seasons. What What's different this year? <laughs> oh, <pff>. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it's it. It's all kind of the same, kind of rolling in. You know, you get a new generation of kids, and yeah. um, you get better as they get better, and uh, mm-hmm. you train them just like you've always trained. You put a little – a uh, little 90 stuff in there, a little bit of those <laughs> in there. And right. Now we're at the, what, 2023, and you yeah. kind of change it up with them. And it's amazing. We stand around and talk about how old they are and what year they were born. And I look <laughs> like, ooh, let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> it hits home, doesn't it? It hits home real quick. I know fair. that. Can yeah. you, does it seem possible 21 years it, coaching here at Baylor? It does not. It does not. It's gone by so fast. It's amazing um, how fast those 21 years have gone. When people ask me, I really have to think about it. I'm like, wow. Mm. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah. It is. So you competed here prior to that. Ninety Was 99 your senior year? 99 was my senior year. Senior year yes. of 99. That's great. Yeah. And let's don't gloss over her uh, <laughs> student athlete uh, career. Yeah, not really notable. People <laughs> weren't really talking about it or anything. Yeah. yeah. She is a member of the Baylor Athletics Hall of Fame. Congratulations <laughs> Thank on you. that. And the Southwest Conference Hall of yes. Fame. Thank Those you. are tremendous honors. But, Stacy, uh, let's go back. The most decorated women women's athlete in program history, uh, holds the Baylor outdoor and indoor record in the triple jump, the only individual national title in women's program history when she won the 1999 NCAA outdoor triple jump title. Yeah. So there's, there are the, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Scratching the surface. <laughs> oh, no. But really notable yeah. career. Thank you. How have things Thank changed you. in yeah. your sport since you were competing and now coaching? It's, it's really crazy. It's so um, competitive. I mean, mm. it's really tough yeah. now. Um, you have so many women now who are mm. really great jumpers. And uh, for me, you know, it was a few. It was a few, and it was still coming up. It was still developing in the triple jump. Triple jump wasn't really big. But now coaching, I look uh, look back, and I'm just like, wow, these girls are really jumping yeah. now. And yeah. it's amazing. And a lot of them ask me, Coach, could you do this? I was like, yeah, I can still jump with those girls, you know, when I think <laughs> about my marks and, <laughs> and their marks. But um, that sport, that part of the sport has grown so mm. much. And so – uh, for me, it's so fun to get student athletes and coach them and get them to that level. That's that's the fun part for me. And um, coaching the jumps, and everybody asks me, what's my favorite? Because I coach the high, the triple, and the long. Yeah. And it's so funny. I l- love the triple mm. by far. That's my <laughs> favorite. But I also like the high jump. The mm-hmm. high jump is really fun to me. And so, mm. you know, just trying to learn and – uh, develop and get better each year is kind of what I, I do now. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, which you didn't do the high jump, though, I did, did you? Not. Gotcha. I did not. And that's what's crazy. I did yeah. not. Yeah. But now you really I, like it. And I like it. I think it's a challenge. You know, right. I'm such a competitor. Yeah. And I think it's the challenge of it that makes it really fun for me. But if if we had set up a high jump pole, is that how you call it? In, <laughs> uh, this, yeah. in this office. Pit. Pit. Yeah. Pit. 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 Pit pole. There's a pole that they hide. It is a pole. It is. It is. It is. A bar. I mean, you can coach it. So you could. You could do it, right? I could. <laughs> think about that. You know, my daughter's I a high jumper. About that. My okay. daughter's a high jumper. Oh, nice. She's, wow, she's a high fun. jumper and a triple jumper. Oh. Okay. But, um, Are we she, recruiting her? I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> I would hope so. I know. <laughs> I'm definitely trying. <laughs> and so it's funny because 
I don't. I think I could. Okay. I think I could. I yeah. like that. I kind of wish I did do it. Uh-huh. Maybe I know it just a little yeah. better. You yeah, know, the yeah. feeling of it to understand what they're going through sometimes. And but yeah, no, uh, I don't know. <laughs> going over something backwards is a little different. I'm with you. My answer is a, is a straight no. I could not do it if we said it. <laughs> and to be here. honest, these days, I mean, if I look at you two, Katie and you, Stacy, I'm guessing that Katie's the high jumper just exactly. because of her height and the long legs. Maybe. And, right. I mean, that's yeah. kind of the way that that. It yeah, is. It is. It kind of correlates because you like a lot, a lot of volleyball players. Yeah. Very good volleyball players yeah. end up being really good triple uh, there high you jumpers. Go. Oh, and so yeah, you missed, would be the maybe. high jumper. Yeah. So if I was recruiting and walked in a room, yep. I would definitely go for you. Yeah. <laughs> over you I am so flattered because I just there's some like I don't know if I can mentally get over the the hump of like there's the pole and you throw yourself back oh, backwards over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would need some good coaching. But so thinking about you know me being recruited as a high jumper. There we go. That's where what, we are now. Yeah. What drew you to Baylor when you? were recruited obviously recruited so many different schools why Baylor you know it's funny I'm from Waco Waco this is home Um, I went to high school at La Vega and I tell people all the time coach Hart was an amazing recruiter Mm. and I was recruited by all different schools around the conference and so he made sure that I knew Baylor was still here Mm. you know everybody was doing their part as far as uh, you know coaches coming to the house uh, coaches coming to my games basketball all that volleyball but because he was here, he, he did the same thing. Mm. Um, he would come to my volleyball games. He would come to basketball games, track meets, you know. Um, he was just there, and he made himself present. And, and he was just – I was like, he's right here in Waco. You know, yeah. he's coming over here and visiting. And he was really big on recruiting. Mm. And um, I was comfortable with him. My family was comfortable with him. And then, too, Baylor was small. And Coach Hart would talk about how the women's program was on the rise. And he felt like I could be a part of that and I can make it better. And um, and so that really, you know, influenced me. I guess mm-hmm. that kind of uh, gave me the, I guess, confidence to know that I can go to a school and make a um, contribution. And yeah. that's really what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, didn't want a big school. You know, La Vega's a little small 3A yeah. school. Mm-hmm. Uh, loved it over there and uh, had great coaches there. And I just wanted to roll into that. And my high school coach actually ran for Coach Hart. And so Suzette Scott at the time and oh, Suzette yeah. Gill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She ran here at Baylor, and she would talk about such a, like, how, um, I guess, a father figure that Coach Hart was. Mm. And she would really talk about that, and that really helped. And I could see that from his recruiting. You know, he would call me, I mean, once a week. He yeah. was once a week for sure. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Great. Yeah, Coach Hart was a great recruiter. And so um, he just made me feel welcome. And I said, Coach, you know, I really don't want to go far from home because mm-hmm. uh, I'm the only child. And so I didn't want to go far from my mom. And he said, hey, here, I, you know, you can still be away from home, but be at home. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, I mean, I'm here still now, yeah. Yeah. you know, 21 years later or more if you had, you know, all yeah. the undergrad. But, yeah, he just made me feel welcome. That's and awesome. I really love that. That's cool. And you think back on it, uh, you know, the women's, women's side of it maybe wasn't that prominent then. But Coach Hart really put a lot of emphasis on that, mm-hmm. didn't he? He did. Yeah. He really did. He recruited two other young ladies, uh, Brandy Harris at the time yeah. and uh, Yolanda Nelson at the time. And he said, hey, I'm bringing in, you know, two other young ladies. And I really feel like this uh, our women's program can take off if all of you come. And we all ended up coming here. And wow. we just kind of took off. I think our senior year we were fourth at NTs and wow. as a team. And I think we were third. I think the 4 by 4 was national champion. I was a national champion. And so um, Coach Hart saw that. Mm-hmm. And he gave us that vision. And we, we went on with that vision. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. He loves you. I, <laughs> mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, he recruited you here. You yeah. competed here. And you all coached together, yeah. you know. So that was great. But going back to Stacy Bowers. Bowers. Days uh, at Bowers. Lavega. I don't think I knew oh. your, your maiden name. Oh, yeah. oh Bowers. superstar, Stacy <laughs> Bowers. Stacy Bowers. Yes. That's a good ring to it. Which, Smith which, is wonderful, too. Smith's <laughs> sisters, us, yeah. too. Smith's sisters. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but that brings up the Smith part, and that brings up Rodney Smith. <laughs> yeah. Now, where, where yes. Rodney was university. Rodney you were La Vega. Mm-hmm. When did you all first meet? How long? In high school. Well, was it oh, high school? Was high school. That's awesome. Yes. At different schools. At different schools. <laughs> I was a freshman. Freshman, and he was a sophomore. Okay, and we had a mutual friend. Okay, and her, she was dating this guy, and she asked his, his he asked her, "Hey, um, I have a friend. Yeah, you know, would you like to meet my friend?" <laughs> Fun. And he came over. I'll never forget. I tell people all of this. He had on a red T-shirt and khaki pants. Whoa, you remember that? Remember <laughs> that. Wow, <laughs> red T-shirt, yes, and khaki pants. I'll never forget that. But. He came over. We met my freshman year in high school, and uh, we dated on and off 
Okay. All through high school. Okay. He ended up coming to Baylor. I ended up coming to Baylor, and we dated all through college, and we got married in 03. Oh, man. What a great story. story. She remembers what he wore. <laughs> that's so nice. Do you I'm remember trying. what Terry wore? Of course, of but course. that's another story. Obviously, you do. I'm trying to do the Silly math question. on what year that would have been. Woo. You, a freshman that in was high a school. I think it was 92. I think okay. it was 91. Okay. Wow. Yes. wow. Yes. And it's so funny. Now, his sister would tell me, um, she tells me now, she said, You know, when my brother was dating you. He, and you would call the house, and he would always that say, awesome. is that my wife? You know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she said really? he knew it. Yeah. Yay. That's <laughs> awesome. She said he knew it then. And here his coaches talk about it um, at university at the yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, Roddy was just inducted into their Hall of Fame. Yes. Oh. That was one of the coaches got up and, you know, talked about it. And he said, you know, that's Stacey Bowers. I'm going to get her. I'm going to oh. marry her. And yeah, she told awesome. everybody that. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that's so sweet. It's a great story. Yeah. Of course, Rodney, uh, great career here at Baylor, yes. also football and basketball, and coaching now. Uh, is it assistant athletic director? He is assistant athletic director for, for WISD. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which yes. is great. Yeah, out of coaching, he's great. He's yeah. out of coaching, but yeah. he's enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you guys have two kids that weren't passed down any athleticism <laughs> whatsoever. Unfortunately, well, that's what I'm saying. Recruit them now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like everyone's uh, different sport programs. Everyone's going to be fighting you for your own kids. My own kids. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I told my daughter. She was like, I don't know. I said, well, you know, if it's track and field, it's all mom. You got to come with mama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no no question about that. My husband's yeah. like, well, she could go. No, she cannot. It's all mommy. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Is yeah. she track first? Uh, obviously, multiple sports. Yes, right? multiple sports. Mm-hmm. It's track first. Yeah, okay. yeah. So the high jump, um, two hundred, triple jump, four by one, and four by four. So wow, great. She does it all. Yeah. yeah. So have you kind of? maybe not officially as her coach, but coached her up in those sports as, as she's grown up or how is that? I'm I'm honestly kind of asking for myself, like how much are you allowed to weigh in on that? You know, for forever, I've just kind of sat back and just watched and kind of let her develop and figure it out for herself. Um, but this year is actually the very first year she was like, mom, I really want to have a great senior year. Yeah. And she said, if you see anything, can you tell me, can you help me? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. You know, I <laughs> nice. jumped for that real quick. I've been waiting right. for this moment. I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> yes. Anytime. And so now I've kind of, you know, help her out. I train her during off season cool. and, um, do stuff with her. And I say, see, we can do this. We can be mom and, t- you know, coaching, yeah. um, sure. you know, athlete. And she was like, mm. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. So this year is probably the first year that I've actually really, you know, said stuff to her because okay. she's played volleyball forever. Yeah. And um, so I thought it was going to be volleyball. Huh. And she just decided. She's like, no, I think, you know, I want to try track because she's never actually given track yeah. 100%. And so we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully the senior year she'll block. And okay. that's Sydney. And that's Sydney. Sydney. Uh-huh. And then London is your son. London is my son. Coming yeah. up at University High School. Yeah. And pretty good athlete himself. Pretty good athlete himself. Yeah. Yes, yes. He has uh, football. They've made the playoffs. Not, yes, um, great year. Yes, that great, was great year. To see. And then they just made it in playoffs in basketball. Oh, so they're going to playoffs in basketball. Whoa. So, yeah, they're doing great. Um, he's leading the team in, um, you know, points and assists. Yeah. and I mean, he just loves sports. You yeah. know, he's uh, actually, like I said, he's had a few offers. He's had about four or five offers, collegiate offers. As D1. a freshman. As a freshman. Yeah, as about a that. freshman. Yeah. Wow. And I tease people because I said, it's just my baby. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill me for saying that. You might, <laughs> might want to take that out. No, we're not taking that out. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> he's going to get me for saying that. But he's such a great kid. And, yeah. you know, they both are uh, really good kids, both, you know, academically and athletically. And it's yeah. just, we've been blessed. Right? you got to be proud. Yeah. Very proud. Yeah. yeah. When you go over to University High School, are there just these huge wall-sized murals of Rodney up on, <laughs> up on the walls there at university. <laughs> he has pictures everywhere. He loves showing us pictures. So, yeah. He's like, oh, awesome. when he was young, I was like, oh, look how little your dad was. Yeah. <laughs> Such a big guy now. That's yeah. Great. yeah, it's fun watching him. And then London actually wore um, his number this year, 14. Oh, nice. Yes, oh, that's he wore his sweet. football number this I love year. That. So I was like, oh, oh cool. that was really good to see. I yeah. love that. Yeah. So obviously some strong ties to Waco to Baylor, but – Throughout your career, th- there's probably been opportunities to go other places. What's kind of kept you guys in Waco? You know, um, the family part about it. Yeah. You know, all of our family's here. Um, and then uh, Baylor has been really good to my family. Mm-hmm. And so uh, Rodney, of course, loved it when he was here. I loved it. And uh, our faith is big. My faith is really big. And mm-hmm. so for me to be able to share my faith every day has always been important to me. And so mm-hmm. – um, 
opportunities to go other places. You know, the that was the very first thing I thought, you know, I think about is, you know, can I share my faith? Can I be who I am, yeah. you know, every day? And so uh, we've met a few coaches and uh, one of the things they say when they come into our building over there is like, wow, y'all have scriptures on the wall. Mm-hmm. He's like, I would love mm-hmm. to be able to have that on my wall and I just can't. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, that's just like, wow, I don't know. It's yeah. just different. And it's been in me, like you say, for over 20, maybe th- almost 30 years. Mm-hmm. And so able to do that and share my faith. And so that has been a big, big thing for me and, and my husband. Yeah. And, of course, the community. The Baylor community has all been great to us. And, and so we just, you know, I'm just like, ah, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah this is home. I love that. Yeah. You're so entrenched here. I mean, mm-hmm. both of you and Rodney, both here in Waco. I can't imagine. You not yeah. being here. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Just don't talk anymore. No, right. no, 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 no. I'm just reminding her <laughs> why you. she never That's would leave. That's good. Thank you. Stacy Smith, our guest on the Sikkim Podcast, powered by Rogue Media Network. I've had the privilege of calling games, telling stories about Baylor athletics and student athletes for a long time. Like Stacy, storytelling is an art, and there's a network in town doing just that. Rogue Media Network has produced over 80 original podcasts and shows, ranging from comedy, true crime, business, and sports. If there's a story to tell, Rogue Media Network is telling it. You can find this podcast and all the other great Rogue Media Network shows on Spotify, on Apple, on YouTube, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. And, Stacy, you're uh, in season right now. Indoor season is going. Actually, uh, open weekend this past weekend after three straight competitions, three straight weeks, and you're headed to Clemson this week. How are things uh, going indoors for your team? Actually going really well. We're really excited about this week. Um, We got a chance finally to get some training in this past week. And, you know, even with the little snow thing we had, (laughs) we were able to still get a few, you know, days in and get hard work in. And and I think that's one of the things that we needed. Um, Those three weeks, you know, it's hard because we're like, ah, we can't get the training in because you get back to town, you rest, and then you got to get ready to go again. And so – I think we were, ju- we were just training through. Um, but I think they have confidence going into this week, and I'm really looking forward to seeing our numbers get better after this week. Yeah, you mentioned Clemson being one that your team's so excited about. Are there other meets coming up that are kind of, you know, circled on the schedule or ones that the kids are really excited about? Yeah, of course. You know, we have Clemson, and then we get the week off, and then we can move into the Big 12 championships. Wow, that seems soon, it. but I know it always <laughs> comes that soon. It comes really yeah. quick, yeah. And we're excited about it. Um, like I said, it's down in Lubbock, and Lubbock has a beautiful facility, and mm-hmm. so uh, we're looking forward to that. Our women's team, um, the girls are saying, hey, Coach, we can finish top three. Um, is what we're looking forward to. And so the guys' team is strong. They're coming along. We feel like they can finish top three. So uh, we're really looking forward to a great Big 12 championship. But we're going to see what we do at Clemson this week, and then we'll know, <laughs> we'll know better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, good luck this week. Safe travels going there and then to Lubbock for the indoors. And then you start the outdoor season right after that. And you're, you're for track and field, it's such a long season, <laughs> isn't it? It's like all year, it feels it like. Is. I mean, it really is. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, we go from – uh, June to June. To June. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just, a long season. It just rolls. Yeah, it really does. It, it just keeps rolling. And we always say, you know, we try to find a little time in there to get away. And, mm-hmm. you know, you may have a coach say, hey, hey, I want to take a vacation this week. Can you watch my kids these, you know, these days to train yeah. so they can get a little break. But, yeah, you know, with the world championships yeah. and different teams that our yeah. kids make, you know, we have a lot of international students. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of us get out and travel with them to their international championships. Mm-hmm. And so – yeah, our season can it can go. I think Coach Ford may be going into August this year. So, God, yeah, wow. it rolls. He may miss the first few weeks in August traveling and, you know, world championships and things like that. Wow. But, yeah, yeah, our season just – it just rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you've done it so long, you're used to it. You travel a lot too, don't you? I mean, you all have to. We have to, yes. We right. travel, yeah, all the time. Huh. I tell you, I probably get – I tell my family, it's so funny, I tell them, don't plan any show- baby showers, <laughs> weddings during this time of the month, you know, this time of the year. Just between I'm, June and June. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do yeah. that. <laughs> I was like, y'all, off season, you know, I may get a little break. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, during January to June, I, I'm out. It's every weekend. I'm yeah, out. Yeah. For January sure. January to June. I'm out. That's good. I tried that at home. <laughs> that doesn't that go. Didn't go over so well. That no. doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work for me either. No. <laughs> But it's nice to uh, yeah. at least set the parameters, right. there, yeah. <laughs> which is great. Yeah. yeah. So who are some of our newcomers, new freshmen that that we should be looking out for? Well, we have a couple, We have a few transfers that came in. Um, Kevia Ely, um, she's a long jumper for me. Uh, she's going to be really good. She's a 20-footer. 
Wow. Um, and the long jump, and so sounds very I'm long. Looking for her, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. I'm looking for her Five um, long. <laughs> to make really good improvements this year. Um, let's see, we have Nikayla uh, Fitzgerald, who's also a freshman jumper, and she's going to come in same about the same 20 foot jumper. And so I got some really good transfers um, that came in this season. We have a couple of sprinters who are coming in, um, going to make a quick impact, we think. Uh, but other than that, you know, we brought, like I said, we brought a lot of transfer. And we have two guys um, on the 400 crew who have really done a good mm-hmm. job because our men are, like, ranked number four, I think, right now on the 4x4 four four yeah. mm-hmm. nationally. They're a great start. They are. And uh-huh. um, that's uh, up to one of the um, new transfers that we got in, Demar Francis. And they're running really well right now. So um, those are some of the key guys and uh, women that we have right mm-hmm. now that should do um, and help us out really well. Yeah. And also, I forget, I have a um, – uh, transfer from France. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, Aisha. Forgot about Aisha. Okay. Aisha's a transfer from France, and she's a, a six foot high jumper. And so I'm looking for her to make a quick impact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's exciting. Really excited. Yeah. I've gotten to know Morea a little bit oh, yeah. lately because she works with Baylor Bear Sports yeah, Properties. Yeah, she's yeah, doing a sweet. really good job <laughs> yeah. there. I mean, she's got her foot in a boot right now. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but she is great. And mm-hmm. to me, that's a great uh, example of a student athlete and preparing champions for mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And what she's doing, I mean, she's got great initiative mm-hmm. doing that work with Baylor Bear Sports Properties. Now. Yes, she's doing a great job right now. She, um, she was – always saying coach hey i gotta do this i gotta do that and yeah. i'm like you know what you go right ahead yeah. you know nice. because awesome. i know what that's gonna happen and what's gonna happen for her in the future you know yeah. like you said this is not gonna last always but mm-hmm. i know i like to see what they do uh, when yeah. they graduate and they come back and tell me coach this is what i'm doing now and i think that's what's so rewarding for me if i throw that in that's probably a lot of the reason too why i've been around so long yeah is to see them when they graduate and yeah. then they come back and they i see their kids you know are they mm-hmm. married and they're telling me their jobs or they're asking me you know for letters of recommendation for different jobs and it's just like wow this is what you're that's doing fine. now yeah. Yeah. and that's just so rewarding to me and yeah. so and Maria is on that path yeah and she's really excited about it she loves working over here she that's absolutely cool. loves it and so um yeah I look forward to seeing her do great things very impressive yeah I love that the the piece that you said about this isn't forever and that you kind of are able to be removed enough from it even being so involved that you can see that right you can see that you're not still triple jumping, even mm. though you were incredible at it. Um, <laughs> but how cool that that they have coaches that are able to tell them that each and every day of, hey, go pursue these things because because that matters to you. Yes. So I, yes. I love that. Uh, February, we started uh, talking about this is February. Yeah. It is uh, Black History Month. And you were part of a panel discussion last week that was really impressive. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That was really, really fun. We talked about the black student athlete experience, you know, here at Baylor and um, just around the country, you know, in the world. And so um, I was really honored uh, to speak on that panel and yeah. just kind of talk about my experience and talk about even my daughter's experience and my mm-hmm. son's experience watching the recruiting and um, how it's going and, you know, thinking about different schools going to and um, just the culture of different schools and yeah. um, just talking about that and, uh, the recruiting process with parents, you know, about, you know, coaches or, um, you know, black mentors in mm-hmm. higher positions. And, and so that was really fun, um, just discussing that and answering mm-hmm. questions. Yeah. yeah. I was telling J-Mo this, that w- when you're good at something, people just ask you to keep doing it and keep talking about it. So <laughs> when you spoke on that panel, it was like, we have to have her on the podcast. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but Thank you. one thing that you <coughs> talked about that I thought was so interesting was kind of some ways that some tangible ways you've been able to kind of bring your team together from all these different backgrounds and and create some common ground. So talk a little bit more about what you shared. Yeah. Yeah. What I uh, tend to do, like I tell you, when we come back on like different holidays or just different breaks that we Mm -hmm. have, you know, I like to sit them around and say, hey, how was your break? And my uh, group is so diverse that we talk about different cultures. You Mm know, Um, we talk about the Hispanic culture. We talk about the black culture. And I was mentioning that Although Aisha, who's from France, uh, looks like me, yeah. um, her culture is a lot different from mine. Yeah. And so we would talk about soul food yeah. and eating soul food. Because she was like, Coach, what did you eat? And, you know, I was like, soul food. And she was like, soul food? What is that? You know, we talk about the comfort food and why yeah. we eat soul food. And um, it's just kind of a tradition that's been gone down for years. And um, just explaining that to her. And she's like, oh, okay, I get it. And so she tries to think about her comfort food yeah. in her country. And she's like, oh, that's soul food. That's what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I tell the kids all the time, you know, I have a uh, young man on that team, um, Nick Rodriguez, and um, forever he was like, Coach, guess what we had? He said, because he's, he's Hispanic, and he's right. like, yeah. Coach, we had 
uh, Mexican food. He said we had all kind of, we had enchiladas. We had um, <laughs> different, uh, you know, meals that he's telling me about. And I'm just yeah. like, Nick, don't tell me that. You <laughs> I know, know I love that. <laughs> I know. I'm you didn't bring me any. Yes. yes. I was like, you didn't bring me any. And yeah. he's just like, I didn't know. And they tease me all the time. And so we like to talk about the different cultures. And yeah. um, I was telling you, I think I was telling you about one of the TikToks. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that was so cool about Maria. Maria. Oh. Maria did an amazing TikTok with um, Alex Matlock last year. And what it was was black, black women and our hair mm -hmm. and the different styles we wear and just understanding the different styles that we wear. Yeah. And Alex quizzed her on that TikTok. And Maria was amazing. Uh -huh. She killed it. That. She knocked it out. And <laughs> I was like, you know great. what? That's I awesome. love that TikTok. That's I don't, so cool. I, don't I know. I need TikTok, to watch it. I but I love it. that TikTok. And it was just amazing to see her and for her to understand our culture yeah. and want to know, you know. And it was really, it was really fun to watch those two do that. And I think that that one I think went viral really yeah. quick. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And isn't that great? I mean, that's that's one of the pluses of being a part of a team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the different cultures and the different people. You know, from different backgrounds that you around and get to know and mm -hmm. maybe room together yeah. on the road right. and things yeah. like that. That's uh -huh. huge. I they mean, it's a huge growing experience. Mm -hmm. It is. And that's one of the things I think Coach Ford has tried to do as far as our team now is we mix up our roommates. Yep. You know, yeah. we're trying to get everybody to understand and to just to know each other because, you know, mm -hmm. you can get busy every day and yep. not pay attention and you come to the track, do your workout and you go home. But we feel like when we're on the road, let's get to know each other a lot more because you're yeah. going to spend time with that roommate and you go out to eat together yeah. and just hang out together. And so one of the things we've tried to do is to do that, to open up our culture so mm. people can, you know, understand each other a little Love more. Love it. Yeah. 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 Very good. Well, uh, are, are we, uh, this kind of puts you on the spot, are we doing a good job at Baylor? Yeah. That's with, you know, and, and this month I know we recognize Black History Month, but I just think it's not just this month. There are other ways, other areas, yeah. other opportunities. Mm -hmm. Uh, to just bring us all together and wrap our arms around each other. Do, are we doing a good job at Baylor in I that? do. I do think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just saying, and one of the things we were talking about is the fact that, you know, I think Mac is doing a great job yeah. of including um, everybody. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, he's bringing, you know, more people in of color that, you know, looks like yeah. me. And, you know, mm -hmm. you see him in administrative positions. And I think Baylor's doing a great job with the diversity and inclusion. You know, the last presentation of Belonging was just amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the one we had to watch. And so I do think Baylor is very intentional and I think they're working at getting better, but we're, I think we're doing a great job. We're headed in the right direction. Yeah. And then you talk about kind of some of those new types of positions, right? We had Corey Bolt on mm -hmm. uh, the podcast recently and uh, gosh, I'm never great at the exact title, but <laughs> what is she? The, it, what is the title? It's the <laughs> associate or from the big 12. It's the ADID, but what does it stand for? Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Essentially, yeah. but the Big 12 putting people in these positions mm -hmm. to kind of champion that at universities. Have you noticed differences in, in that space since then? I have. I yeah. definitely have. And that's, I think, one of the things that I tell people, even parents, yeah. see that. When you can bring them in for visits and you walk around the facilities and, um, and you, you see more people of color that look mm. like us and – I think a lot of parents resonate with that. Yeah. And um, I think a lot of student athletes look up to that because yeah. they say, you know what? I can be in those higher positions. Yes. You know, like you said, this position, or I'm not going to be a student ath student forever or right. athlete forever, that there are other things that I can aspire to be or aspire to do, even in the athletic department, and I can get those roles. And yeah. so I think that's really huge that we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Well, no offense to Corey. She, do, she does a great job. She does. And we just don't have the title. <laughs> yeah. right. Right, right, right. Sorry, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll call her after. Love yeah. you, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Well, yeah. it's fun to spend some time with you. Uh, Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, moving into your 21st year oh, wow. here coaching. Wow. Good luck this week at Clemson. Thank you. Tell Rodney hello for oh, us. Well, I sure will. <laughs> I, I've, I've watched Rodney grow up, man. It's <laughs> yeah. fun. That's so, so cool. It's real, and you, yeah. really, too. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, we appreciate uh, the opportunity. Uh, to hear from you and hear Thank from you your heart and me. thanks very much. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Yeah. Have you been looking for a new podcast to listen to? Are you interested in true crime, funny one-star reviews, or inspiring stories? What about the history of Waco or the famous people who have lived and worked here? All these and more are produced by Rogue Media Network. There are over 80 different shows, including this one, with more coming all the time. If there is a story to tell, Rogue Media Network is telling it. Watch on YouTube or listen now wherever you get your podcasts. All right, really fun, Katie. This was fun, and I was just thinking, uh, you so long standing with Stacy from La Vega and yeah. Rodney from University. It, those schools, if you said uh, who was your top athlete you've ever produced 
out of La Vega. Yeah. It might be Stacy Bowers. <laughs> I believe it. I'm serious, I believe it. It might yeah. be. Yeah. And I, if you said at university, who's the top athlete out of here? Might be Rodney Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, just Waco Power Couple. Yeah. I mean, that no, is wild. Thank you. Oh, yeah, just no, great it's great people too. It really is. I'm so glad they're still yeah. around and yeah. still involved, obviously, in Stacy coaching. Mm-hmm. So. Appreciate the opportunity to visit with her. Yeah. Track and field, uh, he works through their indoor season, then they'll move outdoors, and they'll just keep running until <laughs> June. Til June. <laughs> until June. <laughs> I love That's that. Right. Thanks for being with us this week. Thanks to Stacy Smith. Thanks to Katie Smith. Oh, uh, man. I'm the outsider. I'm John Morris. <laughs> yeah. That's this week's Sikkim Podcast, powered by Rogue Media Network. <laughs> Woo. You've been listening to the Sikkim Podcast, powered by Rogue Media Network. The Sikkim Podcast is a production of Baylor Athletics.